Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. This week we're uh, headed for our first pirate event of the year. The games at Grimsey Isle. Just a little bit of running. We're doing a, about a 250 mile run from the coast up to state in Oregon. And here we are. Eh? Camp Tripoli? I think that's how it's pronounced. I could be incorrect. And lots of dogs. Lots and lots of dogs at uh, Grimsey this year. My friend Pocket's little dog. There's a real neat facility here. I'll get into the, the games and stuff. There's actually been two other Grimsey videos, but we really, uh, really kind of focused on uh, all the grounds and whatnot in the other videos. This this video we kind of focused on the the games and what was going on. Five years I've done this. First time I've ever been inside one of the little cabins. Mom and Dad always bring the bring the cabana, so we really don't uh, need to go in here. But we were here a day early for. Uh, help us set up and whatnot, so thought we'd take a look around at, at stuff we hadn't actually, well, stuff we didn't really look at before. All the little cabins have, uh, have names on them, so. And they're all kind of the same inside, a bunch of bunks. And, fridge and there was even some horses in the little horse corral they weren't super friendly but they weren't unfriendly either so I do have little three little miniature horses that live uh, live behind uh, the enchanted forest Horses really don't bother me. And, as I always say, if there's flowers, take the time to stop and smell the flowers. And they are kind of up in their game. Basketball courts looking like brand new. There's a bunch of new playground equipment going in as well. Sure can't complain about that. There it is. And the beginnings of the cooking of the beasts. There's uh, lots and lots of really good food being cooked this weekend. Keep watching. There'll be quite a bit about the food being cooked. Well, the meat being cooked. And the point of this particular game is uh, to knock the water out of the other person's glass. It's a pretty fun game. And, like I said, there was lots of dogs here. And if I had a better memory, I'd remember all their names, but... There, there's a good dog right there. With treats and all. But... 
on to something slightly different. Got into it. You gotta protect the cup. And whoever has the most water left wins. Goes on to the next round. And you'd think this game would be real easy. Just throw a rock. Hit the head. It's not as easy as it looks. But okay, this this is my view. Dad Dad mounted the camera on me so you can get a better idea of what I'm seeing. Dad did this at Couple, couple, two, three times during the during the event. Just kind of stuck the camera on me. And kind of like the Frank cam, but different. That's, that's my friend Dope Gutter standing right there. He's he's the game master. fun and this is about as close as we're gonna get to the kitchen but definitely if you want to see what was going on pause pause the video you can read the uh, the schedule of events and more games This was twisty sticks or something. There was three sticks of various, they, they longer one, a middle one, and a, and a pretty short one. And somehow you have to get through or walk through or something. And there's a whole bunch of uh, history and story told in this little display here Percy proprietor put it all together tell the story of the Orcish Empire and this this particular event is all about Orcish hospitality and believe me there was a lot of hospitality the food was beyond incredible we'll get to that shortly We did want to look around some and just kind of check everything out. There's Mom. We'll be uh, looking at stuff here before too long. Okay. 
Yeah, well, yeah. Mr. John Woolley is uh, putting together the rack for the lammy. And there's a whole lamb that's going to be cooked on an open spit. And I would help, but they're kind of keeping me back. So you, you can't really see it, but that tarp right behind there is uh, there's actually a, a whole pig being cooked in that. Keep watching. They're, they're, they, they turned it... Uh, Oh, that, that whole pig, they turned it every hour and a half for 25 hours. That's kind of the, the turning process. They, they kept that canvas nice and wet so it didn't burn or anything. There is an entire butterfly pig right there. That's been cooking for a while already. And don't worry, I got my fair share too. John and uh, John and Crowley fixed me up quite well. Well, with parts other people didn't want to eat, but I sure enjoyed them. Flip it, tarp it back up. Okay, here's the Frank Cam. I know it's a little shaky, but that's what happens when you stick a camera right on top of my head. And my head moves around. And the feast hall. Yep. I'm uh, just hanging out, kind of in the shade. And stuff is cooking away. Uh, I don't know if you can see it dripping, but stuff is dripping. And back to games. This game here was was <sighs> I'm trying to remember what it was called. And of course I can't remember what it was called, but It was, it was kind of a, kind of a fun game. People were definitely having a lot of fun with it. And there was axe throwing and knife throwing and, uh, gosh, just a bunch of other games. And we'll look at maybe a couple more of them. Turning of the lamb. And a high five. It worked. They were worried that uh, it would be too heavy and bend stuff and fall in the fire, but it worked out perfectly. Yeah. A little rosemary to uh, keep things nice and moist. And they kept throwing that rosemary on the fire too, so... Yeah. 
you back to back to the little games. Yeah, the little building behind us there is the bar. That was open all day as well. But I really don't drink, so. And the wooing contest. Can I take pictures? Please do. Alright. Yeah, we have a couple of them. Continue. I didn't even get it. Thank you. So who's going first? Well, we're going to have a little exposition of how to properly woo by freewheeling Frank. a demonstration of uh, one of the one of the nicer ways to woo the judges and that fire didn't go out the entire event and dad's drums that's the drums he makes he can actually put any picture on the top he wants it's kind of fun working on a cherry blossom drum right now the head is all cherry blossoms and a big Jenga game Jenga Jenga something like that dad dad said I couldn't steal any of the pieces to chew on so and mom playing uh, Mom playing a game of chess. According to her, she was being schooled in how to play chess, but that's how you learn. Yeah. Stopping by another friends. Dad and him were talking about talking about uh, things they sell and the pig is done we'll uh, do a, a quick little hyperdrive here and uh, let them get that uh, let them get that butterfly pig all kind of unracked there it is All unracked. And Crowley was cooking the pig. His dad actually taught him how to do it that way and made those racks that it's cooked in. And John was uh, in charge of the lamb. It, it must be time to make sure it hasn't been poisoned. 
you know, he, you have to do that, make sure it hasn't been poisoned. Oh yeah, not poisoned. It, it appears it's about perfect. And I would have to agree because I ended up with a little bit of that too. Tender, juicy, and moist. And to be honest, that skin that he's pulling back there, that was kind of one of my favorite parts. I ended up with some of that as well. So, nom nom nom. That is one big chunk of pork right there. It really was very tasty. And the lamby's done. And I have to say, Mr. Wooly made very short work of that. It wasn't long before that whole thing was in the pan getting ready to go to the kitchen for final processing. But there's a feast right there. And unfortunately dad did not bring the camera with him into uh, the feast hall when all this uh, Sunday evening feast was going on. And everybody headed in to feast. Yeah, Mom says, come on, time to go. And my little friend Angus. Mom, Mom was playing chess with Angus's dad. This is kind of going to do it for this week. Nothing left but the bones. Till next week, have fun, stay safe. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching.